hey I just set up a really powerful chat widget on my website that will allow me to now communicate with my customers live and it's completely free and I did it in less than five minutes I'm gonna show you how in this video I'm gonna do a quick walkthrough on how to set up drift and Drift is a, well, let's just take a look at it. I'm on their website here. You'll see this little icon here, this chat icon. If I click it, this actually allows me to start a conversation from my website uh, with Drift. So you can do the same thing. You can install this on your website and start to be able to have better conversations with your customers. But that's a very crowded space. There's tons of little products that go out there and do that. What's nice about Drift is they do so much more than that. Uh, you've got your live chat. If you actually have a web application, you can embed that same functionality into your application. It can send out emails. There's this great profile thing they just came out with. A lot of great integrations uh, with Slack and other tools. Uh, and they even have that bots. You know, we've been talking a lot of bot about bots on our website. Um, so they've got a Drift bot and they have a great mobile app. So it's much more than, than just chat. And the best thing about it is for a tech smart boss, a small business, you can start with this for free. And then, of course, it's very affordable as you move up in terms of the contacts that you need. But this is easy to set up. So let's go ahead and sign up and I'll walk you through the steps on how to set up Drift. We're going to put this on our website. I use this in my other businesses and absolutely love it. So let's put in our email and hit let's go. So one of the things, these guys put a lot of attention onto their onboarding process. So you can kind of see already messages are popping up, things are popping up, targeted uh, messages on, on offering help. Um, so we'll go ahead and hit OK. And you'll see that one, they're going to walk us through where we can customize and brand. And what's nice is we can we can skip all these uh, at this at this point. But as I walk through this, just keep in mind what you might do in these particular places as as we, we do it. Now, now take a look at this. As I shift this, it's giving me a live preview over here what that icon will look like on my website. And I can do the same thing with the with the colors as well. You'll see it's multilingual, which is great. So let's go ahead and hit next. Now this is that startup message, so you can kind of see here they've given me a nice default. How can we help? We're here for you, but you can customize that. Uh, right now my picture is blank. I can upload that. I'm going to do all these things later. But you'll see how they're stepping me through. By the time I finish this onboarding process, I'll be ready to put this on my website. Uh, here, company details. So let's go ahead and fill this in. And we'll finish signing up. Let's assign a password. And the last step you'll see is the installation. And this we have a great video that shows you how to set this up in Google Tag Manager so I recommend you use that uh, and all you have to do is copy that little bit of JavaScript code into your Google Tag Manager if you are using these other methods you could do that as well but I just recommend copying this code and putting into your Google Tag Manager uh, and that's it we're, we're set up so I'm gonna actually skip this step for now and we'll come back and take a well actually I'll tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and do it, and then we'll come back and take a look at how to use some of these features. So I've added this code. Let's go ahead and click verify this setup. I'll verify. And it's actually popping up my site, and boom, look at that. I got a little rocket ship going, kind of matches my rocket ship. Isn't that cool? And it says it's working. So now you'll see that it can take me through some of the integrations. We'll skip these for now, but we really recommend the Slack integration. So we'll we'll do another video and talk about that. And then I'm right into their portal. So let's do a quick walkthrough and take a look at what you can do in the free plan versus some of the reasons that you want to upgrade. Um, so right away, you'll, you'll see they give you great cues on things that are features that you'll have to upgrade to. Now this campaign is a, is a pretty valuable uh, feature. Let's actually click in, you click here, and that'll uh, take me to that. What this allows you to do, did you see what just happened? That a person just popped up and said, right people, right place, right time. That kind of gives the message, and it actually gives you a little bit of indication what's going here. What these campaigns allow you to do are trigger actions, trigger pop-ups, 
trigger events, trigger surveys, trigger, you know, complete website takeover so that you can give a message uh, when certain actions happen. And those actions could be they hit a certain page, uh, you could put some code on your website to trigger events. So there's a lot of power in these campaigns to get really personal with the audience that's visiting your website. So if you want to have that personal touch, for example, I have certain blogs that are on certain topics and I know if somebody is reading that blog, they're probably going to be interested in another topic uh, that's related. I'll set up one of these campaigns and point them to it. Or if I know there's always a common question about that particular topic, I'll pop up and say, hey, did you have a question about, you know, ABC? And these are great ways to encourage engagement with your customers. So that's one of the really nice things is the way you could do this both to anonymous visitors uh, on your public facing website. But also, again, if you did have an app, you could do that in the app. This is one of the things that you have to pay for. So this is a paid feature. So if you're using the free, then you wouldn't worry about that. You'll also see the integrations. Now, the integrations are all things that you can tap into. They've got a pretty good list of these integrations. Now, Slack is the one that I, I use, uh, and also Zapier is a great one. And we'll talk about some of those. They've got a lot of email tools. You'll see a little bit of everything here. Now, one of the other cool things that Drift has just implemented recently that, that is great is this concept of a Drift bot. And you'll notice that they've got a couple of uh, knowledge base integrations like Help Scout and Help Juice and Help Docs and all these sorts of things. What you can actually do with that, I'm going to click on the routing. Now, this is another one of those paid features. So you'll see right away there's the upgrade there. But they've got this thing called a Drift Bot that you can turn on. And you could do some automation in here where it can automatically start to pre you know ask your users questions when they chat in and you'll see the example here hey would you like to talk to sales support or or to anyone and somebody could respond to that and then you could set up intelligent routing and assign it to the right person for that chat you can also and i've set this up on my site where if someone would to pose a question in your chat box you can have this bot go out and search your knowledge articles and help de help help docs and all those other integrations help scout and all those integrations and come back and give that user URL uh, to the the link to that knowledge article so it's a great way to kind of do a little automation so that you can use these bots to make it a little bit easier on your team and of course you still have the human touch to be able to come in and join that conversation or have the bot route it to you um, from that point so again this is one of the reasons that you you would want to uh, upgrade what you can do in the free of course is the website chat and you'll see here you what what I like about this and and the reason that even free this is a pretty useful tool as I looked at all the other free chat um, similar type chat tools for for a public facing website this has certain features that the others require you to pay for so one for example is hours of availability now you you assume okay great that means what happens when I'm not available but that's what I like about this you'll see here there's an online message you can set up there's an offline message you can set up uh, and there's also email follow-ups you can do so these are things typically that you have to pay for drift actually includes that in their free version in fact you'll see the only thing that they don't include is the audience and the targeting so that's what I was describing with those campaigns where I can pop up a specific message or a specific uh, feature based on you know who's coming to my site the demographics where they're located uh, if I know them before if this is a, a they've been here before what page they're looking at and all those sorts of things and you'll see on each of these if I were to edit this message here you'll see that all sorts of nice features here where you can assign uh, team members to handle it uh, this little welcome teaser is really nice that's that'll automatically set up a little pop-up message and, and invite someone to chat to you because you know what I found is a lot of people never even kind of look down here and know that this represents a chat box so it's nice when you have that individual picture of yourself and your name and your a nice friendly message inviting them to chat so you'll see that you can set all this up in the free version uh, that we have right now as well as set that customization styling uh, you're not going to be able to turn off the branding of drift but you know actually that, that doesn't bother me this is a really nicely done how they have this uh, located here so I don't mind doing a little advertisement um, from them on that perspective but if you did upgrade you could get rid of that as well let's go ahead and close this down uh, if I go back into my settings you can also as you'll see set up notifications uh, manage your team 
This is another thing that's very nice about their model. They don't base it on number of users. Uh, a lot of these tools, especially the free ones, they might limit you to one or two or three. In this model, it's based on the number of contacts you have. So you can actually invite your entire team, have them all integrated into your communication chain with your customers uh, via your website. So that's also a very nice place. And they just came up with this profile that you can, if I kind of scroll down here, you'll see that you can set up a profile with all your contact information, social media, uh, welcome message, and all sorts of things. You even see if I scroll down fun facts and, 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 and lots of stuff. And then I could turn it on to be public. And then I'll have a little link here that I could share in my signature, kind of like a business card. Or I can email to people, put on websites, do all kind of you know cool things, and have a public profile. So if you're using things like about.me or something like this, you know maybe this, this becomes a, a replacement for for those sorts of services. Lots of other things you could do. You know, you can assign tags to conversations and customers so you can segment. This becomes very useful when you do upgrade and you're doing some of that email targeting uh, and some of that specific targeting. You can leverage those tags and they do a pretty good job with the help documentation. So not only do you have uh, resources there, but what they're really good about is you can imagine you can just chat with them and get some live help uh, as you need it. So that is the quick walkthrough. Um, you know, try it out. I mean, it's free. It doesn't hurt anything. Pop it on your website. Play around with it. Uh, you might love it. And just to kind of, again, look at that price, you'll kind of see when you upgrade, it is based on how many contacts you have. Um, and you'll see that the more contacts you have, the more expensive it becomes. But at that point, the more contacts you have, you're probably doing this in the context of some of those advanced features and it's really driving a lot of value to your business. But you know, from a tech smart boss perspective in a small business, just wanting to put a really powerful chat widget on your website, you can start for free and, and, and you'll you'll really uh, be in good shape. And even when you get above that hundred contacts, you know, you might be able to purge some of those out if you segment and tag them. Uh, the ones that, you know, did not convert into opportunities or customers, there's no need to keep those uh, in your contact list. Uh, so hopefully you enjoyed this. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can see more videos like this. Go out to techsmartboss.com and as we come out with new content, we're doing a lot of podcasting. Uh, we, we've got a lot of videos like this. We want to invite you to our uh, Facebook group of Tech Smart Bosses where we're all bouncing around ideas and helping each other. Uh, so go out to techsmartboss.com click on the join uh it's free and can't wait to talk to you and see you as part of our community